I was so enthusiastic about bringing this ring into the country. I couldn't imagine how I would ever use this cloudy fabric to send it in to me. But it perfectly represents the legions of us Obama fans cheering him on as he confronted the many difficult problems of our time.
change your guns for pig flushing. Make art, not war. <laughs> this is called Matisse's Little Garden. In his last years, Matisse was bedridden, suffering from arthritis. But he continued being an artist by fastening a charcoal stick to a bamboo fishing pole. He was able to sketch figures on the ceiling above his head. But his favorite activity was to cut fanciful shapes to be formed into large-scale collages. From floor to ceiling, the vicious, vivid shapes covered his bedroom walls. Now that I don't often get up, he said. I've made myself a little garden to go for a walk in. Mm -hmm. Now that is a direct quote from a book that we used at the crash course in art history at the year that I was doing my training to be a docent at the Portland Art Museum. And it's taken more the word from the um, from the uh, the art. Mm -hmm. It's called Paris and just now. How many of you have been to Paris? Oh my gosh, a lot. Do you recognize what it says? Yeah. yeah. If you've been there, you recognize the Arrondissement, which are the urban districts. Paris is built on layers of history. My interest in textiles drew me to first have the Jouet factory, the first one to produce printed textiles in 1750. Well, the Jouet forms the background fabric in this piece, and it's printed with Chinese motifs because everything around 1750 was, all the people were wild about Chinese things. It's called Chinoiserie, and so they're very appropriate. <laughs> um, modern Paris is the growth in Hong Kong, and it's made mm -hmm. also the fabric that I got in Paris. It was produced in Lyon big modern textile city. And the pearl buttons mark famous Paris site. And the Seine River runs through it. This is called Black Elton. One of the great things about living in downtown Portland is that you can easily take three classes from Portland State's uh, senior learning program. Last year I took a class called African Politics. Do you know there are many black Africans, black elephants scattered across Africa? Black elephants are the elaborate palaces, basilicas, and grandiose monuments that were financed with development grants and loans from the World Bank and Western donors since the end of colonialism. Because of corruption, big man rule, tribal warfare, and a host of other factors, Foreign aid to Africa has been largely ineffective, despite the good intentions of donor countries such as ours. Many African people still live in poverty, and development has not happened nor has gone backwards. Why? I have learned by another class that I'm taking now about Africa that Africa is still haunted by its history of slavery and colonialism, and that's why. This is called The View from the Burka. In preparation for a trip to Morocco, I think I've been reading lots of books about Morocco. One captivating memoir began. I was born in a harem in 1940 in Fez, a 9th century Moroccan city. It went on to describe the life of a girl growing up in, in an upper middle class family under the tight restrictions imposed by a Muslim culture. Although she desperately wanted to go to school like her brother and be able to go outside the gates of her home to experience the city, the best she could do was to dream of what life would be like outside the harem. She loved to listen to the experiences and adventures of her father and male relatives, but she wanted a different kind of life from that of the older woman in her extended family. To survive her frustration, she opened her mind and her eyes wide and traveled around the world on the 
wind of her imagination. Up uh, in the Middle East, and first, we see a ramp. Every picture tells a story. This rescued Persian miniature painting on silk is based on a 15th century poem from an illustrated manual, man, manuscript of the Career Gallery in Washington, D.C. The painting was adapted from an illustration for a poem entitled The Simple Peasant in Greece to Fail and Not to Sell the Simple Mountain. <laughs> How do I know this? I stumbled upon an illustration in a book at our museum library. I was preparing to do this lead tour through the theater a couple of years ago of the Persian miniature. For hundreds of years, the main art form in Persia was these jewel-like miniatures bound into books of poems. Only in the 